enough. Bomb all forests and kill all IPOP members and ESN or passenger tell military. What has Obatsenjo really seen or what did he saw in the southeast forest or in southeast itself that made him to focus so bitterly on the southeast? We have the bandits who have been in the forest, in the Sam, in Sambisa forest, in the Kano forest, in Kaduna forest, we have them, but Obasanjo has never said that go after them. Only the IPOPs. And besides, what has the IPOP really done? You see, you see, let me tell you something, my dear listeners. Our politicians, the Nigerian politicians, are the bandits that we are talking about. You see, as it is now, these politicians are not happy with what is happening to them. As it is now, they are not getting the kind of money they're supposed to be getting. They plan getting. They are not getting the kind of pleasure that they really plan to get to be getting. Because IPOP and Namdekano has really destroyed all of their plans. So all these things is what is giving them concern and headache. Look at Uzodima, for instance. Uzodima is a tool that has been planted in the southeast to help in the actualization of Islamization. But as a taste, because of the help of IPOP and the Eastern Security Network, all of those plans have been shattered. Let's look into the content and know what has really eaten so deep into a passenger. The uncertainty surrounding the forthcoming general election seems to be growing wider by the day, especially with President Barry's refusal to sign the Electoral Act Amendment Bill into law. His rejection of the electoral bill because of the section bordering on direct primaries, which he does not agree with, has remained a subject of debates and conversations among Nigerians who hold divergent views on the matter. While some individuals hailed him for the action described as patriotic, others believed his withholding of assent so the Electoral Bill 2021 will not produce credible elections in 2023. Among those who believe the president acted in good faith is Kaduna State Governor Malam Nasser Erofai. In his opinion, President Bwari has always been a believer in direct primaries, but with what is on the ground, it will not produce the desired result. In the general elections. Former President Olusha Gopasanjo on Friday identified what Nigeria needs to manage its growing unemployed youth. Gopasanjo said Nigerians need political will and action to transform its growing unemployed population. Speaking at Oyewusi Ibidakbo, Obey Symposium in Lagos. The former president lamented that a lot of youths have resorted to violence and joining killings and kidnappings, most especially in the Southeast. Amnesty International has urged United States President Joe Biden to interfere and intervene on this issue. A passenger who spoke said that IPOP is the pain of Nigeria. The time has come for us to blow them off. They have planted Boko people in the southeast, in the forest, to take over Nigeria. Recruit battalions to the southeast. Invade the forest. Locate the hidings. 
and kill them all of passenger claims. He spoke while giving a lecture at the Oyewusi gathering, he claims. Wicked politicians, wicked governors, wicked leaders, look at them. When you see them, you know them. When you see them, you know them, most especially people like Olusego Basenjo. I was saying this thing before, that you will never see any Nigerian politician that will ever support anything good. Because why? Because of the things that they are gaining in this country. They know that this country is very rich, so they want to take advantage of this country and get themselves enriched. Look at Tinubu today. Tinubu is tagged as one of the most richest men in the world, not just in Nigeria. Because why? Because he has extorted this country. And that is what every one of these politicians are going about doing. Now, a passenger is ranting and noising about because because of those hidden places that he has that 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 he, he, he get money from has been blocked by IPOP. Let me tell you people, nothing will happen to IPOP. IPOP will keep frustrating all of you wicked politicians. You will never succeed. And I know that this is the reason why the, the you people intentionally kept Nam the Kano in detention. So that you will have your way, your way, your way out. Unknown to you people that even if Nam the Kano is kept in detention, the IPOP will keep working. And that is what they are still doing. They kept Nam the Kano in detention, yet Nam the Kano is still acting. Yet Nam the Kano is still writing. He's still sending messages. He's still broadcasting, even right there in detention. His messages are still going everywhere. That is to tell you people that Namdekanu is too, is too, is too, is too tough. It's too tough to be handled. And he's, he's so much ahead of you people. You see that? So my tell listeners in the house. I will tell you that our passenger has spoken by Yasley. I'm very, very wrong. Passenger is a biased person right on time. I know. I know. <laughs> Let me hear you speak anyway to, uh, on this very issue of our passengers claiming that they should bomb the forest and kill all IPOP. Is, is that easy? When they came in search of the Eastern Security Network, what happened to the to the to the military men that, that came to in search of them? They died. They didn't keep coming. Please, if you're new, locate the red subscribe buttons as well as bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.